silk painting for beginners, again, how to stretch it on the frame, how to pull it on the frame. There are many options, many possibilities of doing this. I will show you my way, based on my experience. I always use unstitched, unsuit silk. It's important. Uh, silk painting frames come in a variety of designs. Sliding ones, like this, here it's closer, or like this. Here's one of my favorite frames, where one side slides into the other this way and is bolted in place. Here is the simplest frame, and I will show you one of the ways to stretch silk. You can use rubber band hooks like this or this, but I will use ordinary buttons. I intentionally took the silk, which is smaller than the frame, to show that it also can be stretched over the frame. But first I will show you how to cut the silk evenly. I put the fabric against the frame. To make it easier to stretch, I make a 2-3 cm margin. Then I make a cut with scissors and just tear the silk. This way I get edges and corners that are perfect. I left one edge cut off with scissors and you will see later how it affects the quality of the cut. So I align the corner of the silk with the corner of the frame and put the first button. This will be an anchor point. Now pull the silk away from this point and put another button. I divide this segment in half with another button. The more frequent the buttons are, the more evenly the silk will be stretched. I like to paint silk stretch tightly. It's much more convenient for me. Now I go back to the reference point and pull the silk away from it again. By the way, you can pull in short sections, but then the tension of the silk between buttons can vary. So I pull the whole side and then distribute the buttons in between. I divide each gap in about half, then in half again, and so on. And I'd like to add a button here. I try to stretch the last corner of the silk so that the free margins of the fabric remain equal along the sides. I always pull the silk tight, like a drum, so it's easier to work on. And I would like to remind that subscriptions, likes and comments are warmly welcomed. The more reactions you give, the easier it is for the channel to grow.
Now, so to say, to build up the missing silk, I use any fabric. It can be old linen or anything. This is the fabric I have already used. And this time I will use pins. I align the edges of the silk and another fabric and just pin them together. As you can see, the side where the silk was cut, not ripped, remains uneven. And another important point, I do not stick the buttons all the way in, so that I could get under them with a tube of resist or a brush. Here is one of my working frames. I've been asked how it's made. Uh, so it's a wooden frame with nails in a row. The distance between the nails is about two and a half centimeters, one inch, and that's the height I have, but it could be a little bit less. You just take a nail, hammer it in, and now you cut off the cap with pliers. And it's very easy and quick to put silk on a frame like this, but it's very important not to hurt your fingers. Well, in general, the principle of stretching silk is the same. This frame is very good, very easy to work with. Then, while working, the nails may interfere, which I warn you about in advance. 